So right now, there is no word yet on when the attorney general will wrap up her fake electors investigation, but it appears Mays could be nearing a decision. It appears two well-known congressmen are now part of Arizona Attorney General Chris Mays' ongoing investigation into the slate of so-called fake electors from the 2020 election. According to Politico, Representatives Andy Biggs and Paul Gosar were ordered to testify before a grand jury. The two Republicans are congressional allies of Donald Trump and voted against certifying the 2020 election results. The AG's office isn't commenting on the ongoing investigation. A panel created by state House Republicans to investigate whether Mays has abused her office held its first hearing. At a protest, Democratic lawmakers declined to show up. Republican leaders are accusing Mays of neglecting the duties of her office for, among other things, refusing to defend state law she disagrees with. The AG is dismissing the committee as a political stunt. Carrie Lake announced she raised over $1 million in one night at Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. The announcement comes days after her likely Democratic opponent, Ruben Gallego, announced raising $7.5 million over the last three months. No word yet on what Lake raised in total for last quarter, but she has until the 15th to file a campaign finance report. And sticking with elections, there's one infamous would-be candidate who won't be on the ballot this year. Jacob Chensley, a.k.a. the QAnon shaman, failed to qualify for his West Valley congressional race. Chansley gained notoriety for the outrageous outfit he sported when storming the Capitol on January 6, 2021. Chansley served 27 months for his role in the Capitol riot. A term in Congress would have been 24 months. In the newsroom, Dennis Welch, Arizona's family.